We saw it in Tokyo. So it's okay sometimes to even sit out the big competitions to focus on yourself. And again in Beijing. After my last Olympics, I put that pressure on myself to be perfect at all times, and that would cause a lot of issues. Good screen. Already in trouble! Oh my god! Believable. I couldn't tell you why, in the moment, in, the, in those races, it not only didn't work, but it, like, it was like the worst of it not working. It happened in France, too, when tennis star Naomi Osaka dropped out of the French Open because of anxiety. In different countries, across different sports, some of the world's most dominant physical athletes are opening up more about their mental health. It's a movement that's been growing since a moment on a world stage in 2016. Five-time Olympic gold medalist Missy Franklin had been known for her big smile and bubbly personality. After the Rio Olympics, she opened up about her mental health. It's hard. Um... It was really difficult the first time I talked about my own mental health struggles publicly, again, because I had no idea what the backlash was going to be. Anxiety, depression after a devastating injury, hateful comments, all magnified under the world's microscope. Could be a gold medal in this I remember in London, and I think it was on Twitter, but I remember getting and reading my first, I guess you would say, hateful comments. And I just remember being like, totally blown away of like, oh my gosh, I'm just out here swimming. It was, it was really then that it started for me. After years of work, therapy, and prioritizing mental health, the former Georgia Bulldog is committed to being an advocate as she cares for her growing family. We all know that life brings change and sometimes that change is wonderful and sometimes that change is really hard and we all go through different transitions. And so being able to, to love yourself no matter what it is you're going through, no matter what period of life you're in, how you're showing up every day, knowing you're just doing your best and surrounding yourself with people that are going to love you no matter what. She salutes Simone, Naomi, Chloe, Michaela, and other athletes keeping the conversation going. I think we have come such a long way. The conversations we're having now are great and we need to recognize, recognize our progress and celebrate that. But we do still have a long way to go.